Add two planks onto the top of the outer hole planking. Cut them long enough for you to chamfer the rear ends to fit neatly against the rear wall of the gallery while leaving the front edges overhanging the planks of the poop deck. Now apply a couple of planks to make sure that the part stays into place until thoroughly dry. After building up both bulwarks, cut a length of 4x4mm wood to fit across the front of the poop deck. Make sure it extends all the way to touch the external hull planking. After staining or painting the edge, glue it in place. Position the top of the edge of the strip about 1mm higher than the poop deck, creating a small lip. Trim two planks to fit inside both poop deck bulwarks. Cut the stern ends to fit the rear gallery wall and cut the front ends in line with the front of the edging strip you have just added. Using a coin about 2cm in diameter, such as a penny or a nickel, draw an arc on each bulwark running from the top of the quarter deck bulwark to the front of the crossbeam. Sand the ends of both bulwarks to the arch you have just drawn. Sand the tops of the bulwark smooth and flat. Then sand the inside and the outside surfaces smooth. Stain or paint the inside of the timber head recesses on both the port and starboard sides. Glue cut off pins in the holes into the bottoms of the timber heads and then super glue to secure the timber heads into the recesses. Using a razor saw, carefully cut away the deck supports. Keep the saw vertical and cut as close as you can to the deck planks. Take a strip of 2x6mm wood and cut it to length to fit along one side of the opening. Repeat for the second side.
Secure the two long pieces of frame in place with masking tape. Then cut two more strips to fit between them to make the frame for both the front and the rear ends of the opening. Once the glue has dried, either stain or paint the parts that you have just fitted. Take one of the ladder sides, hold it in position against the end of the opening with the treads level and mark the height at the top of the deck. Assemble four ladders. Note that the top rung will need to be made narrower to match the top slot, which is narrower than the rest and measures about 3mm. Measure the length of the opening. Divide this measurement by 7, giving roughly 23.3mm to calculate the distance between the beams. Place two strips of masking tape along the edges of the opening. Mark the front edge of the opening on the masking tape, then make six pencil marks each space by the measurement you calculated in the previous step. Take two pillars and make sure the tops and bottoms are smooth. Glue them on either side of the grating using a strip of wood to ensure you place their centres in line with the second pencil marks. The skid beams are supplied in two parts. The outermost side is flat while the other is parallel for a short distance, then tapers. Sand the laser burned edges off the beams and round off the pointed end as indicated. Apply glue to the area where the beams overlap, fit the two halves together holding them in position between the linings in the opening to get the right length, but do not glue them just yet. Once the stain or the paint is dry, now glue them on top of the pillars. Carefully remove the masking tape after the glue has dried.
Glue the four ladders you made earlier into position. The ladders nearest the bells fit up against the lining of the opening and the aft ladders fit against the forward edge of the last beam. Take a piece of 3x3mm wood, mark and then cut a length to fit between the two ladders. Repeat this for both sides. Now mark and cut a third strip of 3x3mm wood to fit across the front of the opening. Round off the upper ends of the side strips, then stain or paint the three strips to match the rest of the linings of the opening and then glue them into position. In preparation for the forecastle bulwarks, measure the height of the forward bulwark above the head deck. It should be 28 to 29 millimeters. If it is too low or too high, build up the bulwark with spare length of plank or sand it down. Now measure 150 millimeters back from the inside planking of the forward bulwark and make a pencil mark on the side of the planking. Cut a small piece of 3x3mm wood and glue it onto the inside of the bulwark so that this fits between the pencil mark you just made and the next rib forward. Cut and glue a small piece of 2x5mm plank to extend the lower planking as far as the pencil mark. Cut and glue two strips of 2x5mm planking to form the inside of the bulwark. The upper plank can stop about 50mm short of the end. As the bulwark tapers down to the deck, use a plank bender so the plank follows the curve of the bulwark. Mark a line on the outside of the bulwark to cut it to height. The front mark is the same height as the forward bulwark and the rear mark is 2mm above the deck. Use an cut of 2mm plank to help you measure this. Using a razor saw carefully cut along the line just above it just to remove any excess planking. Sand the top of the bulwark so it is smooth and straight. Continue until you end up flush with the forward bulkhead. Line the front of the bulwark with 2x5mm planks. When the glue is dry, sand the top flush with the forward bulkhead. Now take a length of 4x4mm wood and cut a strip to fit across the front of the deck up against the bulwark. Using 3x3mm wood, cut two lengths 15mm long and two lengths 20mm long. 
Drill shallow 1.5mm hole spaced 3mm apart. To complete the ball works, take the two lengths of 2x8mm wood from stage 59 and cut them to fit along the quarter deck in the space between the forward and the aft ball works. Sand the strips to remove any rough edges and round off the corners. Then stain them walnut and glue them in place with the outer edges overhanging the hull planking by 1mm. Using the off cuts from step 1, cut small uprights to fit the ends of the aft quarter deck bulwarks, sand stain or paint and glue in place. Now fit a length for 2x10mm wood supplied with stage 58 on top of the aft quarter deck bulwarks. Cut out a section at the rear to fit around the curved planks of the poop deck bulwarks. Trim the forward end of the bulwark, capping flush with the uprights you fitted in an earlier stage. Then stain or paint these bulwark caps and glue them into place. Take a strip of 2x10mm wood from stage 58 and make a series of shallow cuts with a razor saw. Because of a tight radius it is better to glue this bulwark caps in place. Using off cuts, cut small pieces to complete the bulwark caps forward to the stern gallery wall. Cut a length of 2x8mm strip so it's about 20mm wider than the front bulwark. Paint and glue this strip into place leaving the front edge overhanging the forward bulwark by about 1.5mm. Cut pieces of 2x12mm wood so that the forward end fits against the rear edge of the strip fitted in the previous step and the rear end extends over the strip fitted in step 2 by one millimeter. Paint the strips and glue them into place, flush with the inner face of the bulwark at the front and the cap strip at the rear. Trim the ends of the forward bulwark cap flush with the sides, sand and then touch up with paint if necessary. 